This is another tutorial by Uzumaki Cork Tattoos, artist Nicholas Kreitz. This tutorial is to properly bag your wash bottles, whether you use squirt bottles or spray bottles or Nalgene wash bottles. These are germicidal. First thing I want to do, obviously, is wash your hands and put clean gloves on. Now, what you're going to need to properly bag your wash bottles will obviously depend on what you use, whether you use a spray bottle or a Nalgene wash bottle. Um, for these, I just use saran wrap and the fold lock, fold lock uh, sandwich bags from the dollar store. You can also use uh, wash bottle bags, but uh, you'd have to get smaller ones than these. These are even too big for my wash bottles. Um, and also saran wrap, or you can even use barrier foam, which is on my power supply right here. You just put some barrier foam around here so you can touch it, and you're not going to you're not going to uh, infect it or cross, cross contaminate. And you need to put a bag over it because this is where you're actually touching with your dirty glove, right? So if you just saran this and you don't bag the top, you're going to contaminate your entire bottle and your bottle's garbage. <coughs> well, I can throw it out because they're only freaking dollar. Um, you're also going to need a tape for these, for the wash bottles, or elastic bands, whichever, as long as it holds the bag on and keeps it from opening gaps, like on the bottom or whatever. Um, for the squirt bottles, obviously you need a piece of saran wrap, which is what I use, and some scissors. And you just line up a straight line right up to here, right up to the top right there. I'm not sure if you can see it because I can't really see what you guys see. I'm doing this alone so I don't have someone filming me to tell me whether or not I can see what I'm showing you. And then you just kind of, you don't need as much as I ripped off. So it's going to look kind of weird. I don't use these bottles anymore. These are my old squirt bottles. You just wrap it around all the way maybe one and a half times. Make it as tight as possible. And then just pull this down and fold it under and push all the air out. And then just take your scissors and just cut the extra off. And that will go in the garbage. So now your bottle part is covered. And um, then you just take, it's kind of off balance because there's no nothing in it to give it weight. And you just take your sandwich bag, pull it over the top, pull it back, and just kind of pinch the corner, pull it off. And you get like a little tiny piece, and then gently pull the nozzle through the hole. It's better if the hole is smaller because it makes it really, really tight. And then you'll get this. You can see how it's not past the nozzle. This way it blocks this gap. You can't get anything into that gap. And then covers all this so when you squeeze it, you're not going to contaminate the bottle. I'm going to bother wrapping the other one. Now, the Nalgene bottles. Again, you can just put barrier film over here. And as long as you don't touch the top, you can touch this and just squeeze it and your liquids will come out, your wash will come out. But these are wash bottle bags, they're really big. And you just pull it over the top and then kind of poke it through. Poke a little hole right in the center, it's best if it's in the center. And then kind of squeeze the air out. Pull it down, wrap it up. Grab your tape or your rubber band or whatever it is you're going to use to hold it. And that will hold it in place and then just squeeze the air out of it. These have stencil stuff stickers on it. Just make sure you pay attention to your state or province or federal laws or whatever because for me in, in Ontario, my wash bottles and everything has to be labeled. So if you have to have your stuff labeled, make sure you have it labeled. And again, just wrap it over the top, poke a hole in the center, push all the air out of it. Hold it up, or band, or 
or tape or whatever it is you want to use to, to haul a fudge. There's lots of my rubber band. It's on the floor so it's garbage. Grab the new one. I grabbed two. So that one's going to go on. Tie it in a knot the fudge. So grab your rubber band. Done. And you can see the label. Because it's not folded over the label. I'd rather fold over the stencil stuff logo than my label. i just squeeze the air out of it. Grab your saran wrap. Now this obviously works for any spray bottle you have. Um, if you make your own stencil solution, for example, out of Dettol and Isopropyl or whatever solution that you use to make your stencil solution, obviously you're going to need to cover this so you don't cross-contaminate. Granted, your, your gloves shouldn't be dirty at this point, but if you do touch their skin and um, then touch your bottle with your glove. Your glove is technically contaminated just by touching their skin. That's why you always change your gloves between clients, like after you put your stencil on. That way you don't contaminate any of your inks or anything. Pinch and pull, and then gently pull back over the nozzle. Even if the hole is really small, it will still pull through. It's just going to get a little bit more difficult. And then, just pull. and then just make sure you don't touch right here where the nozzle is. Right here where the nozzle is. Or your bottle is contaminated. And then the bottom looks like this. These are just from the dollar store. I bought uh, the Nalgene wash bottles from Hildebrandt. www.tattoomachineequipment.com Here's my Kavasai bottle already wrapped and everything, ready for the next tattoo. And that's pretty much the basics, it's super easy, and I don't know why people don't do it. It takes two seconds and it costs nothing, like Saran Wrap was a dollar, these sandwich bags are a dollar, the squirt bottle is a dollar, like, it's nothing. Or you can buy a wash bottle bags for like $4.99 or something and you get two fifty. You get two fifty in them in here. That's pretty much it. This is Nick, Nick Inc. from Rizumaki Corp Tattoos. Check out my website www.uctattoos.com or ronin.freeforums.org. Thanks for watching my video.